Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt Rezac here from leatherpunk.com. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today we're going to show you guys what you need to know about setting rivets. So this video has been long in the making. I'm glad to say it's finally here. We've had a lot of requests for this. So I'm happy to show you guys and share with you what you need to know. Uh, when you're setting the two basic types of rivets, that's going to be either be the single cap or the double cap rivet. So we're going to look at both types. Uh, I'll show you the tools, the technique, and everything that you need for this. Uh, and then we'll also talk about uh, what you need to know uh, when you're deciding to purchase rivets, what you need to look for uh, to make it work for your project. So let's get started looking at the materials here. We need to do all of our work on this nice heavy granite slab that absorbs all the impact when we're, when we're uh, hitting things with our mallet. So we need a mallet. Uh, we're gonna do most of this uh, with an anvil and depending on which type of rivets that we're setting we're going to use one of these two tools. Uh, so let's take a look at the rivets themselves and you can see what makes a single cap uh, different from a double cap. Okay so a single cap rivet looks like this it's just uh, one piece it's got the cap on the end uh, with a barrel and notice the barrel is is open it's going to split open just like the uh, way we set the snaps uh, and these would be good an ideal for uh, if you just wanted a decorative accent uh, but it can also be used to set multiple layers of leather together uh, when you're when you're using these types of rivets if you want to set a couple layers of leather you want to make sure that the length on this barrel is about an eighth inch eighth inch longer than the total thickness of your material uh, so that's the uh, single cap rivet let's look at the double cap rivet a double cap rivet uh, is two pieces it's a post plus it's a cap and you'll notice uh, in the end of the barrel here it's rounded it's filled in uh, that's so you get more material to push up inside of the um, of the cap and we're going to use a concave tool like this to uh, to set these double cap rivets so let's get started I'll show you right now we'll go back here and set the single cap rivet first Got a couple holes punched in this uh, leather wristband here just to uh, show you guys. Uh, so when you're putting holes in here too, you want to make sure that the holes are just big enough to hold the rivet you, and, and not fall out when you turn it around. So we put the rivet in there like that and you can see it stays, it doesn't fall out. So you want it to be that snug, otherwise it will shift around and it might not, might not be lined up the way you want. So. With a single cap rivet, we're going to put the end that we want to be seen. We put the cap part on top like this, and then we flip it around. We're going to use uh, we're going to use the snap setting tool that you're familiar with. And don't be put off by the way that this looks. It's kind of short and stubby. It's this end piece that's important. This rounded part is going to round. It's going to split that barrel open, and it's going to kind of flatten it around the leather. So here's what that looks like. And that's it. Pretty simple. Now the double cap rivet is going to be uh, a little bit different. Uh, we're going to take the barreled piece and we're going to put that on the bottom. So now we got that piece sticking up here like that and we'll put the cap well, we'll put a strap on here okay there's no reason to put a strap on here but I'm gonna do it anyway just to show you I'll put that in there set in there like that now before I show you this um, I want to look at the uh, rivet setting tool okay so this is uh, these are three different concave rivet setters for double cap rivets if uh, if you're using double caps you want that cap to be uh, to still retain that that curved shape you don't want that to be flattened out and so that's why we use the concave tool now I've I've filed two of these down this is this is an unaltered rivet setter but this can be too big for a lot of rivets it'll leave a little ring on on the leather right around the rivet so you can uh, fix that problem by filing these down with a little grinding wheel uh, they do make specifically sized uh, rivet concave setters like this but if you don't want to spend that extra money you can just buy these cheaper ones and file them down yourself so you got to use a, 
the right size diameter for each type of rivet. And these, just take your medium mallet, give it a strike, and it's on there. All right, let's do it one more time uh, from a kind of a further back angle so you can kind of see my movements here. So I'm just putting it in there, uh, setting it down. You hold it down, and there you go. For the double cap, push the barrel through from the bottom, put the cap on there, get the right rivet setting tool, the concave tool. There you go. Now you know how to set rivets. Thanks for watching. My name's Matt Rezek with leatherpunk.com.